The Exposure Show on Westside FM. The Exposure. 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 Aussie B, are you on the phone? Yep, I'm here, I'm here. I know. You know, you're not here. You're supposed to be in the studio, man. Yeah, I know, I know. It was a bit of madness getting over there, really. You know what I mean? Oh, but, well, you know, we will, we'll get you in soon, yeah? You're going to come down soon. So, we obviously came down and met you recently, had a chat with you at the Maybe Thing Refix video. Uh, what was the best thing about the video? Was it meeting me and Jenny? Well, that was one of, that was one of the most important parts of the video, actually. Re- meeting two lovely ladies like yourself. Um, there were quite a few it, lovely ladies, don't there? There was, there was, there was. There was quite a lot. It, it, it felt like a rave vibe for me, really. It felt like it was in the nightclub. Like, everyone was just there. Everyone was there supporting and doing what they're supposed to do. The only problem that I had on the day was that certain artists turned up late and stuff like mm. that. But, I mean, so, you know, you know how it goes sometimes when people are doing other things they've got their stuff guided as well it's a bit hard for them for them to work on your time kind of thing the exposure 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 so you've been you've been quite a busy boy. I can see on your Facebook you've got about 20 videos posted up uh, yeah, you know, GMTA that's what, is, you know, that's what I do more time you know what I mean when I'm not out doing at studio or at a show or this, I know that I'm just in on the internet world just trying to promote the music because that's the quickest way to get to people these days really through the internet you know what I mean I'm always in the studio I'm in the studio at least three four times a week working on new material it's mad the work rate is something that you have to just keep up because obviously I, I went quite a few years ago after the war fire people figured that but I'm not really looking to go back to that point so I'm just trying to keep busy all the time the exposure 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 can I ask you um, what would you say babe about um uh, the notion that, um, say, funky is fading. Fading. You know what it is, yeah? I mean, obviously, a lot of people will say that it's fading now because, obviously, it's not getting, like, the love it was getting about, say, what, six to uh, six months to a year ago. But, I mean, in the day, I'm not being funny now, but it's kind of like, obviously, the grime artists have kind of, um, not even just grime, but just MCs or grime artists have kind of jumped on it and kind of... Not, you know, we haven't really spotted it because there's been some good stuff that has come out of it as well, you know what I mean? Yeah. But their DJs, funky house DJs or funky or oh, house DJs are look at it as where well, they plan to spot it because it was it was more it was less vocal and more, like, more singing if anything. Not yeah. like spitting bars and things like that, it's like more vocal and uh, you know what I mean? And at the moment it's just totally gone back to house now, now there's just a house scene. That like, funky is separate from house now, you know what I mean? It's like you've got funky UK funky house, then you've got um house. Like, all the DJs that we used to be playing funky house have gone to house now. The exposure. 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 What yeah. do you think contributed to Garage being so big? I, I actually remember um, watching. Remember when people used to watch Top of the Pops like back yeah. in the day? And when I see you, three black boys come on with their little Avexes, oi, <laughs> din, 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 and I thought, wow, there's black people on Top of the Pops. That's not fair, yeah. like, you know. So, what do you think made uh, contributed to Garage being so big? You know, it is there. I think at the time, it was a raw sound. It was kind of like, a, it wasn't really brand, brand new, but it was kind of new to um, the masses of people at the time, you know what I mean? So it was like a fresh look for them. Yeah. And so obviously you had like Neutrino on Oxide and you had Soul Solid, you know what I mean? That were more on the overhead side yeah. of things, the garage, but then you had like the underground acts like Heartless and Pay As You Go and um, a few other acts that were doing the thing on the underground. But, I mean, it was something new for them, really, you know what I mean? At the time, it was like, right, like, this is a new sound, like, wow, you know what I mean? The exposure. Exposure, exposure, exposure. Is there any more space in GMTA for anyone is there, else? Is there any more space? <laughs> is there any more no, space for right me, now? man? I can you're, see! You're not moving like, no? not moving like <laughs> Lady Gaga right now. I don't think there is. To be honest. For me? Me and Sam, can, yeah, you know? Yeah, of course, of course. We've got okay, okay, space, okay, 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 okay. We're going to spin the tunes in the background. Sammy J definitely got space for them, you know what I mean? Okay, uh, so do you want to introduce your tune and we're going to play that now? Yeah, this one is the next one, yeah, after Maybe Thing Refix, and this one is called Shake Your Ass, yeah, <laughs> by myself, Ozzy B. Big up Ruffy on production. Get me another up and coming producer. All right, we're going to get that on now. Thank you, Ozzy. We'll speak to you soon. Bye. The Exposure.